carbon removal, technological carbon removal. That's way over here. Now, uh, let's talk for just a second. Well, first, let me just implement it. OK, so there you go. Um, now, let's talk about what that is. So that is a variety of technologies that have been proposed, none of which have been implemented at scale, many of which don't exist or uh, technically, are not technically feasible or are extraordinarily expensive. This includes things like direct air capture. It doesn't really work yet uh, beyond a, a demonstration scale, and it's very, very expensive. For example, one of the companies that is in that business and so has an incentive to give you a number for what it would cost that's quite low, believes that it would cost about $500 per ton of carbon dioxide to remove that from the atmosphere today. Uh, they have to capture it. They have to liquefy it. They have to pipe it where it can be safely sequestered underground and hope that it never makes its way back to the surface through the water supply. $500 a ton of CO2 to do that. Uh, but so that's what you're getting there. And there are other technologies like um, biochar, uh, like BEX, that's bioenergy with carbon capture and sequestration. These are all technologies that are, in principle, developable, but don't really exist now. So really, by pulling this lever, you are um, committing to a, an accelerated program of aggressive R&D to bring these technologies to fruition technically and economically so they could begin to be deployed and scaled up. But we have done that now. 